with me. I got another giant uh, nut or whatever. Take this giant nut and sup it in your face. Your pride will be your downfall. Yeah, these actually turned out to be some very formidable NPCs. They got a lot of different elements. It does make sense, you know, like, if we're talking about the world, and if a lot of people have quirks, it's just inevitable there's gonna be a lot of people at the top, you know? Even a small percent is gonna be a lot of really, really powerful people. Although, <laughs> Todoroki is fighting all of them single-handedly, so. What were you saying about, uh, pride? And downfall and all that looks like Team Rocket is blasting off again. <laughs> Apologies, but I simply cannot afford to fail. Damn, class 1A, class 1A indeed. Todoroki, a great spokesperson. Switching slows me down. I need to practice more. Yeah, that's got to be his ultimate move, right? It's got to be a combination of half hot, half cold. So Todoroki just passed, right? He he got those NPC Team Rocket members. Miss Sai. We'll soon have company. I've confirmed four. This is suddenly all very Hunger Games. Is this math? Is this Nezu's counterpart? So they've yeah, he passed. passed. Nice. Good job, Todoroki. I love a hero who's super passionate. Who is this guy? The test was easy, and now the hard part: socializing. I want to be like meeting others. Wait, what were we talking about? This character is really intriguing. He has this really boisterous and exuberant personality, but there's something else in there that makes that seem like largely a facade. He's definitely got something bottled up. He's got something like a chip on his shoulder against UA or something that's driving him. He's not just this jovial creature all the time, although that side of him is pretty, pretty fun, pretty amazing. That look he just gave Todoroki was pretty, pretty a lot. Don't panic, but do consider that your time is almost up. Good luck. Having any luck, Shoji? It would really hurt for, for the UA students who don't pass, watching their classmates pass. It kind of creates a rift, no? We need to fight for ourselves and make sure we pass. Yes. Yeah, the time limit is kind of key. That would be wisest. Shh. I hear four people climbing the stairs, ten floors below. Is this a distraction? Or worse? Yeah! Oh, Are you okay? Okay? They know. It's a coordinated attack. Oh, it's these these ladies. What's their plan? <clears throat> Blocking visibility. Our opponents know exactly who we are, and more importantly, what we can do. And you all thought math was useless. <laughs> we should assume they're already close by, waiting for the right moment to strike. What school is this? Phase two is complete, ma'am. Jiro! Some pretty excellent ball sniping. If they were able to predict our actions so accurately after seeing only one attack in the beginning of the exam. Yeah, this raises a lot of weird questions about this quirk. This place is turning into a freezer. Asui, what's wrong? Crap. Was this to neutralize Asui? Her body's going into hibernation. The true threat. Very smart. Recognizing who the real obstacle was. <laughs> they also just took out the, the emotional center. Probably turned off the electricity as well. Here's a blanket for now. <laughs> nice. Very analog, but I like it. We could break through. That's just what Our they want you to do. Are definitely waiting on yeah. the other side. It's dangerous. How did they manage to outthink us so quickly? Math. The power of math. Figure out a solution to this situation. With one ear injured, Jiro can't use her sound attacks to their fullest capacity. So what? Should we smash the wall to escape? No, that's a simple move. I love how Momo's become sort of the leader of this crew. One of the great things about the show is the character development is not forgotten. You know, this has sort of been a long time coming for Momo. Being the kind of person who constantly questions herself, freezing in the heat of the moment ever since the battle with Tokuyami in the tournament, sort of culminating with the two-on-one against Aizawa. But here she is in an impossible situation. Like, my instinct watching this is to say like, well, I guess you lost. May as well just surrender before anything, you know, actually bad happens. But no, she's out here making blankets. <laughs> like strategizing. She's like turning me around, like I want her to actually pull it through. And it's a simple thing, and it's a constant thing in the show, but like, I don't know what it is about it that's so magical. Maybe because it's so easy to understand, but so hard to do. So the reminders are always relevant. And it's less of an idea and more of a feeling of just not capitulating. Having the fortitude to just dig your heels in and whatever the adversity, to use your resources to the maximum capacity that they exist, and not to be sort of limited or encumbered by all the doubts and like the fear, and wanting to get back to a more comfortable place. Being able to act despite the difficulty, actually seeing things through all the way to the end and maybe even actually being able to succeed at them. There's something so deeply inspiring about that that I think is more obvious 
and more clear, keeping that in mind and feeling the limitations of that in real life and then going back and watching it, you know? It's somewhat obvious in a show about heroes, but actually it's it's sort of a big deal if we're talking about like emulating characters. We need to do something about the air conditioning. I could make some clay to seal off the vents. It looks like there are eight of them in the room. Right, I mean her I powers, her quirks. Quirk, but right now, it's all I can do. Do what you can for now. One of the benefits is that she can make anything, right? Her potential sort of unlimited. The one named Yaoyorozu must utilize her power. They saw this coming her quirk too. Her uses the lipids inside her body to create solid matter. In other words, which is why we're going to soak her with detergent. To how much she can create. Oh, okay, that too. That's the flaw in the plan. You thought you were so good at math, but you gave him too much time to think. My equation for success. Ah, uh, pride will be your downfall. That's sort of the theme of these episodes, right? Academy. IQ. Second year. She has a very similar quirk to Nezu, but is it the same name? I can't remember. Drinks tea. Man, that happens to me slightly, but with coffee. It will be the beginning My quirk. The end for you and your friends. Exposing myself. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have time for a mineral card. Hey, why aren't you making anything? My lipids. I gotta protect them. The enemies want me to use my quirk. Yes. Until Not enough lipids. Anything else. Right. Very so Momo clever. was the real threat. And once you're powerless, they'll march in. Their in. Eyes. No doubt they could easily hit our targets. Yes. There's something funny about this whole thing. You know, it's cool. There's an element of it that's like a little bit overcomplicated for throwing balls in a hole. You know what I mean? Like, they probably like could have had somewhat of a decent shot just flinging the doors open because there's 800 of them and just tossing the balls in. That wouldn't be as... Cerebral. That's one of the pitfalls for intelligent people, you know, is over-prioritizing the, you know, your mental faculties, where everything has to be about that. Just hit them with some balls, <laughs> you know? <laughs> in some ways, for people like that, it's it's a validating thing. It's a desire to believe in one's own mastery of the world. You know, there's like an ego trip element to it. Okay, fine, then what do we do? Come What's the on, stupidest Jake. thing you could do right now? How would Todoroki act in a time like this? That's also or a valid question. <laughs> Probably a better question than what I just asked. No, I'm hurt. If I can still move at all, what would Deku do? Then I can't just sit still. Yes, this is the exact feeling I'm talking about. That is one of their best traits, all of them. Forget about my provisional exam. Focus on me. Damn, three. that's that's what really matters. pretty awesome. Good for you, Momo. In order to get my friends out of here. Yeah, Jiro took one of the ear. She's really sacrificed. Please put them on. And she it's only has a couple things device, she can make. But its structure isn't all that complicated. This is sort of like an all-out gambit. So I can still move. My lipids. <laughs> My precious lipids. It's been almost ten minutes since they were trapped. This this room. girl looks so done. She must be insufferable. And, <laughs> wow, that's a that's a pretty intense device to make out of your chest. She made that? Are you all right? It must have taken a lot of lipids. My tea! Oh no, now you've done it. Oh right, we brought this. It's sort of funny with like the range of things she can do with that power. But because of that, you can't fight now, can you? But she already achieved her goal, which was to help her friends. I can't give up now. She's because still going, look at her. Training we've done at camp and school. Yeah, they've Time had hand-to-hand -hand combat training, result. fight training. Time for Sue to get some oh. revenge. You guys! Then why did you come back? Of course they would come back. You should be thinking of yourselves, not your no, other This is why they're at another level. That might be how you roll, exactly. not us. We're obviously You're friends. an embarrassment. She's our friend. <laughs> so simple, but so good. I'm going to save both of them. I love how Deku is like in all their minds right now, too. You've defeated me completely. You way doesn't disappoint. At least she admits it. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, I agreed with, uh, what's her name? Joke about the whole pride thing and the whole school label thing. But I think that would be more true if circumstances hadn't played out the way they've played out in the last couple of seasons. Like, it's not just the school. The students have been to hell and back together. They've been through actual battles. It's not just class. They've had shared experiences that no one else can touch or understand. And through it all, they've had each other's backs. So their priorities and their learned lessons are going to be already so different from anything academic that these other students have gotten. It almost doesn't even matter. It, it, you know, the school stuff sort of pales in comparison to just the real world stuff that they've had. You know, school is supposed to prepare you for the real world or prepare you for very specific things that you're, you want to do, right? But they've already done the things. They've already been the heroes and they've been doing it without their full powers unlocked because of the lack of licenses. So what hope do they have unity-wise? And it even looked like they were alluding to the fact that these girls are not unified because that girl was giving sort of a sour face about the whole thing. Although that could have just been a, a weird frame. Why'd you follow us? I don't know. Because you guys started running. <laughs> Look out! Uh, Hiroshima! Damn it! Uh, what's going on? Uh, is this quirk popcorn? What the crap? Did that really just happen? That is kind of insane. I hope that's reversible. This is just Hiroshima's new form. Earlier, someone tried to outpace his classmates. I'll take her down Alakazam. Fast. No, wait! He was panicking that he wouldn't get enough points in. As people get worried, they'll break away from their classmates, and then they'll be at a big disadvantage. 
This is a risk though, waiting to the last moment though. I'll be a decoy so you can move. Be on the lookout for openings that'll let you immobilize people to get some points. They're all sort of sacrificing for each other. It doesn't mean you can't hit him with your balls while you're being a decoy. He's pulled through enough times that I believe in him. Now. Yeah, fair. My school keeps our hats on when we're This is running. horrifying. Why is that? Because each and every one of our movements is crowned by the legacy and honor of our school. This should not be allowed. Is there no li okay. These no line appear to anywhere? Be sorely lacking among you. You're just gonna turn him into dough? He also has weird like choral music following him. I wanna be gross! Shut up! Obligation! <laughs> Dignity. He's having a great time. You just like to hear yourself talk. Right, speaking of prestige and labels, it's these kids, not the uh, not the UA students. Bakugo's about to cook this bread, or whatever it is. Want some gum? It's really a finger trap. I like how Aizawa just neutralizes all her stuff without using his quirk. Wait, Eraser, are you actually worried? He's invested. There are two people whose spirits have a big impact. They're not leaders who are the most popular. And the two of them don't get along at all. Bakugo and, and Deku. Their passion had spread to the rest of their peers. Yeah, they're they're not leaders. What are you talking about? But every time there's some kind of major event, one of them is at the center of it. Yeah, one or both of them. It's the opposite, actually. I can't wait to see what they'll do. <laughs> their presence raises the standard for the entire class. Yep. It's kind of gross. I'm honored Very cynical. to have them as students. Hey, My nice shot there. Way. I love that. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it feels totally earned, too. Like, of course, they are amazing, the two of them. And so is the rest of the class. And you know, it really does just take one person sometimes, or, you know, a couple people, to slightly break the mold to raise the entire average. Because I think a lot of our behavior is just based on the way we think about the world and the range that we know. And exceptionalism is sort of rare, I guess, by definition. And so without seeing exceptionalism, without having the reminders, it's sort of easy just to fall into a default. We're just sort of mirroring the world that we know and the experiences that we've had. But all it takes is one person to come in and sort of blast through what we thought was possible or kind of raise the bar on what we thought life is or the potential that people have to give us a higher target. And the effects can be immediate once you just realize it and start to focus on it. It automatically elevates you. And there's a challenge there, which is like, where do you find these people? Or how do you emulate that if there's sort of a shortage of that in your immediate environment. But there's a connected thought that I like, which is that, well, if there isn't, then that's actually an opportunity to try to be that yourself. You know, it's like, you can get that from ideals. You can get that from sort of just imagination or imagining a version of yourself that actually feels really great and powerful. And there are so many internal indicators that point to what that could be. You know, it could be things that like feel great to think about yourself becoming. It could be skills you already have and just maximizing those. It can also be known deficiencies or known areas of weakness and things that give a sense of dread to think about. Those are opportunities to like rise to that, that challenge. And speaking to the cumulative effects of that, I think that it's everything. I think that even small improvements in that way, you know, even just the striving for those things, even just being cognizant of the fact that there are choices in that way, that the default layer you know is not the highest layer, not the layer that you have to operate on, has immediate effects on people around us. And so while we often think about this like huge type of heroism, you know, Deku type or Bakugo type heroism, where you're sort of at the, the center of the stage and leading the world or leading a community or whatever, that I feel is actually where it's at. It's like some kind of personalized ideal and trying to meet that on a daily basis and trust in the ripple effects that has you know it's sort of like thinking about humanity and society as everyone being nodes on a grid and it's like being the strongest node you know or in a fence you know being a very strong link so that other links might grow and so for me this kind of thing feels real and it feels earned and also feels really important and it's another example of things sort of maybe to some people seeming simple on the surface but actually going pretty deep especially when you try to actually do this kind of thing especially when it becomes internalized and, and lived it becomes more inspiring it becomes less obvious I think. so yeah that's the end of episode 17 I'll see you guys next time when class UA just they dominate they they get their well-deserved domination like we always knew they would